April 2023 engineering graphics paper from Pune University SPPU here we go problem number three and let me just show this to you figure shows a pictorial view of an object okay this sort of is a 3d view where you can see all the dimensions length width and the height by using first angle method of projection draw front view in the direction of x okay so this is x and from here you can see the front right so that decides your front view top view from over here and the left hand side view from this side give dimensions in all the views it's very important okay let me straight away move to this slide okay uh the first thing the first suggestion to all of you is to start your drawing by using a 3h or a 4h pencil and use it very very lightly that is the first suggestion once you are done with all the outlines you can then override those lines with the help of a edge pencil i'll show you how this can be done with the help of this presentation here we go first of all take a look at this object from a 3d perspective this is going to be fun watch this video right till the end i'll give you the full demonstration let me just start here we go let me rotate the object slightly so that you guys can have a better understanding of the different profiles so there are two holes drilled there is a this u shape over here let me take a look at it from over here that is from the front here we go wonderful let me take a look from the top you'll see an inverted u okay and also the left hand side view which has been asked and this is the left hand side view and you can clearly see that there are two rectangles of different colors right i won't be coloring my drawing uh, what i'm interested in is just the outlines and the hidden features which uh, we use dashed lines to represent can we go ahead yes sir we can and we should what you should initially draw uh, draw is your partition lines these are going to be your partition lines first of all done okay sir now listen to this very carefully let's say your object has got some base at a height of 10 mm from the hp right and for that what i'll do is make a line above this distance happens to be 10 mm and this also what is this sir the back of your object will be at a certain distance from the vertical plane and that distance is shown over here right in the same way the the one face of your object right hand side face or left hand five side face will be at a certain distance from the profile plane and that is going to be 10 millimeters so 10 millimeters 10 millimeters just follow the steps eventually uh, as you go on drawing the object you will understand its features much more practically now let me get the object in front of you here we go how much of a length length from the left to the right assuming you are viewing the object from over here how much of a length do you observe sir uh, we can clearly see this distance is 32 the radius of the circular profile itself then from here to this that means from center of one circle to the center of other circle you can clearly see the distance between them is 114 and then you've got this distance again it is nothing but the radius of the semicircular profile and this is 32 so 32 plus 32 and the distance in between the centers is 114 please do the math 4 plus 2 6 plus 2 is 8 and then 1 3 4 5 6 7 one 178 is the total length that means from the leftmost point to the rightmost point the distance between these two points happens to be 178 let me erase now okay i'll write down all the things don't worry secondly how much of a height do you see sir we can see that this is the height this that is this is equivalent to sir 45 okay can you can tally it from over here also this is 45 agreed sir sir what about this distance do you know how much this foundation is sir this is equivalent to 19 so 45 plus 19 is going to give you the height as 45 55 60 minus 1 64 64 so the length is 178 the height is 64 done and please note you may commit a mistake a small error over here the foundation is slightly thin somewhere at between and it is a bit thicker over here okay in these semicircular portions it is a bit thicker 
नाइनटीन एम एम नाइनटीन एम एम एंड इन बिटवीन इट्स थर्टीन एम एम सो प्लीज नोट दैट दीज थिंग्स रिफ्लेक्ट परफेक्टली इन योर ड्रॉइंग डन एज फार इज द विथ इज कंसर्न वेन यू टेक अ लुक एट इट फ्रॉम ओवर हियर यू आर गोइंग टू सी दी विथ ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑल्सो इट्स विजिबल सो दिस इज फेली सिंपल दिस विथ इज इक्वल टू डबल द रेडियस दैट इज सिक्सटी फोर ओके सो द विथ has been given as 64 dimension also has been given don't worry okay again remember length sir 178 height sir 64 width sir 64 so you have all the data the first thing is to create three rectangles in the first rectangle listen to me top view okay sir front view okay sir left hand side view okay sir in the top view you are going to see a rectangle 178 by 64 yes sir in the front view that means 178 by 64 okay sir in the front view you are going to see a rectangle 178 by 64 so that's 178 sir and this height of the rectangle is going to be 64 and sir uh, uh, in the left hand side view we are going to see a rectangle of this is going to be 64 and this is going to be 64 64 by 64 please take a screenshot i want all of you to take a screenshot done okay let me erase let me get back to business three rectangles in one go here it is you know the dimensions 178 64 178 64 and in the side view 64 by 64 done okay nice all right sir now what now now comes the confusing part let me switch on the main diagram once again jab it is from where shall we begin usually i suggest my students to go with the top view although it's not mandatory you can go with the front view also it is your choice okay play with it right so we can clearly see that there are these two centers one center has to be somewhere here okay between these two centers there is a distance of 1 1 and if you watch carefully this distance from the extreme left this distance happens to be 32 sir agreed sir and sir this distance also is 32 do you agree <laughs> yes sir this is also 32 from both the ends you can take the distance as 32 and mark these two centers and if i can zoom into this you'll realize that this small circle over here has a diameter equivalent to 22 diameter is 22 therefore the radius is going to be half of that that is 11 agreed okay 32 from the right 32 from the left mark two centers and then make two circles having radius of 11 mm wonderful let me do that in one go and here it is easy okay so the distance between these two centers is sir this is 114 and this circle is having a radius equal to 11 this also is having the same radius equal to 11 very easy sir uh, what prompted you to make this line thicker right please note uh, these thicker lines correspond to edge pencil whereas all the lines that i have made previously all of these lines have been made using the 4h pencil keep it very very light okay let me let me just give you a brief explanation about these lines uh one thing that you must note that it is in line with the centers this also in line with the centers and now here comes the justification in line with the centers okay yeah in line with the centers and somewhere here i cannot show you the exact place this line then this line and then somewhere 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 here then this line then this line then this line this is what you are seeing from the top top these are the lines that you see okay let them be shown with the help of one single straight line at the back and at the front easy yes sir so far so good now what now please note what we'll do is we'll actually mark a center line or a center at the back this is 64 sir in totality so 32 to the left and then down by 45 okay how much is this sir uh, no 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 not down what are we making we are making the top view right okay so in the top view you are going to see this we'll make a center and then 
we'll go 32 to the left you can also go 32 to the right also no problem let me use a black color for the left hand side portion then we need to move in this direction how much is this sir this obviously 64 this is very easy then we have to move in this direction how much is this sir this is 13 by the way 13 13 13 all of them in fact and then how much is this sir let me make the arrow so that you guys can visualize it properly if you watch done sir from the distance between these two points is 64 so 64 minus 13 will give you the value as 51 so so this has to be 51 and then you can move towards the right hand side by a distance of 38 millimeters so please remember 32 64 13 51 how much 32 64 13 51 okay here, it, here we go mark the center how much to the left sir 32 to the left draw a line full 64 okay this is full 64 then 13 mm to the right this is 13 mm to the right then 51 remember then 38 remember down again 51 then 13 again okay and then join it back very very simple okay let me switch it on so there is this semicircular profile which has this as the center so the radius has to be 32 which has been given with this point as the center keep the pencil end of your compass over here and the steel end of your compass at the center rotate anti-clockwise and that's the semicircle apply the same process over to this side clockwise done top view is done now we should think about the front view how do we do this stuff okay uh, first of all the best thing to do or the best way to approach is to get points get lines from all of these points all of these points in the upper direction very easy again what pencil are you using sir 4 edge pencil gentle soft okay barely visible lines now what take a look what can you see sir this curved portion will look like a straight line from the front it will look like a straight line okay and here also this portion will be visible sir uh, from the front this portion will be visible i mean these two lines are having different lengths this is having a length of 45 whereas this is having a length of 51 please note 64 minus 13 will give you 51 this is 38 this is again 51 sir sir this is 13 okay this is 45 sir and then this straight go have to go straight the guidelines are going to help you which we just which we have just drawn let me show that to you these are the guidelines right the projector lines just do it okay and from here on upwards 13 mm to the right 13 mm to the left i mean these guidelines are going to help you just stop over there then down by 51 millimeters if you don't want to go down if you want to mark this point this point is actually 13 millimeter is at a height of 13 millimeters so that also is a reference right and then join done sir this line we can understand what about this line sir why do you darken this line the bottom one yes sir we we understood this is the top one right you from where are you looking sir we are looking at it from the front and that's the line which i have just drawn easy peasy that's all uh, anything else i'm about to draw something can you observe it here it is again here it is <laughs> do write down in the comments very very honestly have you been able to what i've have you been able to work out or observe what i've just made hmm? take a look take a look i have made a pair of dashed lines this is a pair of dashed lines you can clearly see that the circle the leftmost edge rightmost edge so hidden features represented by dashed lines and so is the case over to this side also hidden features by dashed lines right so they are going to be visible to you i am going to make these construction lines even much more transparent you guys can do the same by using your pencil gently your 3h pencil or your 4h pencil done okay um anything else i think we are done with the front view and the top view now let's make lines we already have lines through this lines through this this 
let me do this in a civilized way okay and more let me have lines through these points and then rotate them by 45 degrees use a, a mini drafter for this purpose you can use a compass also okay not a compass but a protractor right project them in the vertically upward direction and then now try to work out what you need to do take a look now where are we looking from sir from the left hand side yeah okay so there is this slant edge that you can see yes will you be able to see this from the left hand side no sir this is the isometric view right so this is that slant edge i am talking about it is a hidden feature especially from the left hand side which is a hidden feature so it has to be given respect in the form of a dashed line will you do that yes sir we surely can how sir 13 mm from the left and 13 mm from the bottom that is exactly how we are going to mark these extreme points let me do that 13 mm this is the left 13 mm from the left and sir 13 mm from the bottom and we are going to make our dashed line done very easy secondly if you watch there are these two rectangles that you will see one rectangle one and then there is another rectangle which you will see uh it looks like a semicircle okay i agree but it would i mean it is a semicircle in fact but when you look at it from over here from the left hand side it would look like a rectangle so rectangle one and rectangle two and uh, these are those rectangles let me mark them clearly rectangle one and rectangle two is this clear to everyone i hope it is and then there is this uh drill it starts from over here and it ends here okay you can you can match starts here ends here right so it's a feature again that has hidden therefore dashed lines that's the complete diagram if you can make this diagram this question is of 16 marks you are surely going to get 12 marks why are you deducting the marks four marks the reason being very simple because you have not used the center lines okay so wherever you see circular profiles use center lines uh, like this right and your work should be in this fashion right the construction lines should be barely visible okay use the pencil very softly and these are the center lines everywhere everywhere right and uh, if you can make this i'm going to give you 14 out of 16 happy no sir we want more or if you want more you need to do uh, you need to put in a lot more efforts you need to dimension it something like this if you can make this you nobody can stop you from getting 16 out of 16 look this this examination is of 15 marks and this single question is going to give you 16 marks okay 50 marks is the uh, total engineering graphics paper out of which you can obtain 16 marks from this very single problem so it is very very profitable to solve questions based on isometric projection and as well as this topic that is orthographic projection so in the upcoming lectures i'll be uploading a video on isometric projection also uh, which also happens to be uh, appeared in your examination where is that problem by the way i saw one problem on isometric here it is this is one isometric problem problem five another problem problem six so uh, plenty of things will be covered